Welcome back. Looking for the home of your dreams? Well, Andrew and Liz Maxfield were not. Yeah, but the home actually found them anyway. KSL 5's Peter Rosen has their story. Usually it's the buyer who chooses the home, but... It was like the one choosing the wizard. Sometimes, maybe, it's the other way around. Take cellist Liz Maxfield and her composer husband, Andrew. Ten plus years ago, they were moving back to Utah for a job and looking through the classifieds for a place to rent when Liz accidentally searched buy. And the first house that popped up... And saw this. Oh, that's kind of a cool mid-mod. What a weird-shaped house. But it was equal parts weird and cool. A mid-century modern home built by the homeowner, Ephraim Hatch, then 92. And then... The home included... A few lines down, I saw... This. The A-frame. I saw acoustically engineered music room. And I think my job dropped. A room designed for his wife, Verena. A passionate organist and amateur musician. And a nine-foot grand and pipe organ. And it was so fun seeing his face light up when he showed us the room. They bought the home, which did need a bit of work, and eventually began a three-month remodel. We were the general contractors on record. We did the demolition. <laughs> which took... 10 months. Liz was standing right here with a toddler in a hiking backpack while she was holding a sledgehammer knocking down a cinder block wall that used to be here. We worked with two different structural engineers. They looked up at this room and they said, this is really cool. Also, we're not totally sure why it's standing up. Their home up to code. But don't let the dog escape. They started opening their doors. Welcome, welcome to share their space and love of music at house concerts. Jazz nights and hip hop, chamber music. We just love creating this community space and inviting you into our home. Tonight, a ukulele band. These are the good old days. The Bird Watchers. Please don't let them fly away. Here, music is in the walls. It's part of the foundation of their house. It's just part of the atmosphere, part of the water end of their lives. I was doing piano lessons by the time I was five. My mom was a professional musician. It's how they connect. And she passed away when I was about 10 years old. And as soon as I was old enough, we got to perform with her. And so it was a, almost a sacred space for us to be able to collaborate musically. It meant a lot to them that it would pass from one music family to another, and it makes us happy, and I think it probably makes them happy wherever they are now. It felt like it was meant to be, and we have loved this house. If indeed the house chose the home buyer, it certainly sounds like it chose well. Peter Rosen, KSL 5 News.